Hello everybody, my name is Sakshi Patange and today I'll be demonstrating my project on Olympic Data Analysis. Olympic Data Analysis is a streamlit web application that is used to analyze the data of the Olympic since its starting, that is 1896. So here we are using the 120 years of Olympic history, that is the data sets that we'll be using here at athleteevents.csv and nocregions.csv. I have taken these data sets from the Kaggle website. I'll show it afterwards. Next, the libraries that have been used are Streamlit, Pandas, Plotly, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. Streamlit is basically used as it is an open source library and it enables developers to build attractive user interface in no time. It is very useful for those who don't have so much knowledge in the front end development in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. So, this is an option for those people. Pandas is basically used for all the pre processing tasks that we do on the data sets. Plotly module, it contains functions that can create entire figures at once. So here in our project, we are using a lot of figures. So here, this Plotly Express module is very useful. Matplotlib is a visualization library, and it enables you to generate visualizations like charts, plots, graphs, etc. Seaborn is also a visualization library, but it is built on the top of Matplotlib, and it provides aesthetic and statistically sophisticated visualization of the charts and plots, etc. Next, we will see that the project is divided into four major parts. First is the medal tally, second is the overall analysis, third is the country-wise analysis, and fourth is the athlete-wise anal analysis. So, we will look deeper into these sections after the data sets. This is the Kaggle website from where I have took the data sets. Here. There are two files, namely athlete.cs, athleteevents.csv and nocregions.csv. So in athleteevents.csv, well, we are having 15 columns and it gives the detailed information of every athlete that have participated in the Olympics right from the beginning till now. It has a unique ID for each athlete and then it stores the name, sex, age, height, etc. for each athlete. Next data set here is the nocregions.csv and it has only three columns. It stores majorly the region's data about the athletes and other things. So next we will look, look after the source code of the project. And this is the code of our project. So the main file here is the app.py. App .py. So in this I have imported all the libraries and the data sets. Next. Here we are importing the image that we are going to display on our page or web application. Next, the major part of our project, that is the first part of our project, the medal tally. As I have told in the presentation that our project is majorly divided into four parts. The first one is the medal tally. Here we have written the code for the medal tally part. The next is the overall analysis. Here we have mentioned the code for the overall analysis section. The third is the country-wise analysis. And the code for the country-wise analysis is also mentioned here. And the last, the athlete-wise analysis. And the rest is the code for that. Here we have two files, preprocessor and helper, that are necessary for some functions which we require as helper functions for the app.py file and the preprocessor pi and helper.py file we have imported here in the app.py file. When we want to run this project, we, we should go to the terminal of our PyCharm and here we will run the command pi dash m streamlit run app.py command and here it will start our streamlit app. It will give us a network URL and local URL and it will direct us to the this page. So this is our web application page. Here, these are the four sections that I was talking about since the starting, the medal tally, overall analysis, country-wise analysis, and athlete-wise analysis. Overall tally consists of the overall tally of all the gold, silver, bronze medals of all the cities or all the regions that have participated till date. So this is the data where 204 cities have participated and the overall tally of their medals is mentioned here. 
Now, not only this, here in middle tally, we can we can select the year in which we want to see the uh, suppose we want to see in 1906. Now here we can leave it for the country as overall. So we can see for all countries in that specific year or we can also apply a filter for our countries. Suppose we say India. So we go down here. And we, when we search for 1906 Olympics, India's performance in 1906 Olympics, we see that India has haven't got any medal this year. So we'll look for some other years, suppose 2012. So in 2012, India has got total six medals, out of which two are silver and four are bronze. So this is the medal tally for selecting for a specific selected country in a specific selected year, or we can see the overall analysis also overall tally for the medals also the next is the overall analysis the next overall analysis can gives us a calculative average of total editions that have took place till now total cities that have hosted till now that means total cities who have hosted the olympics till now the number of sports number of events number of participating nations and number of participating athletes also now here I have represented this participating nations over years in a form of a graph where we can see the year and the regions. Next, the events that have took over these years means the number of events that have been taking place over so many years. This graph represents that. Next is the athletes data over years. Here is the number of events over time, that is every sport. Like we see here, down the years are mentioned and on the left hand side, the sports are mentioned. So suppose for wrestling, we can see that in each year, how many events took place for the particular sport. So here for West wrestling, we can see that in 1896, only one event took place, whereas in 1904, seven events have took place. Next is the most successful athletes data. Here we can see for overall successful athletes or, or for overall sports or we can also apply a filter for the specific sport. Like for athletics, we can see most successful athletes in athletics. These are the names of the most successful athletics, athletes in athletics. You can see here the sport mentioned is athletics similarly we can also look for any other sport like suppose cricket and here are the names of the cricketers or the most successful athletes who play cricket so this was all for the overall analysis next is the country wise analysis in country-wise analysis, suppose we select here India. The first graph gives us the medal tally over the years for India, like in 1920, 1940, the medal tally and how the graph changes according to the years. Here, the India excels in the following sports like the lighter shades represent more excellence. So here in wrestling, India has just started in 1952. Whereas in hockey, India has excelled right from 1928 to 1980 continuously. Whereas you can see that here one that is a little darker shade that represents one and a lighter shade represents two. So this is a heat map and the heat map exactly represents the this thing that it goes from light, darker shades to lighter shades that means darker shades represent a little less values than the lighter shades lighter shades represent higher values here we can see the top 10 athletes of india you can also see this country wise analysis for any other country like suppose we say we'll see for china now this is the middle tally of china over so many years 
China excels in various sports like athletes, athletics, badminton, diving, gymnastics. So we can see a lot of variation here in this heat map of China as compared to India. So here we can see China has excellence in almost every sport. And the top 10 athletes of China are also mentioned here. So this gives us a country wise analysis of the medals of the sports and even of the athletics. Next, we will see the athlete wise analysis. Now here in athlete wise analysis, what it majorly shows is distribution of age like now we can see the the x axis represents the age and here it shows that bronze medals or the bronze medalists are mostly from this age we can see here the bronze medal maximum peak age is 22 like most of the bronze medalists are from this age so we can see this type of line for silver gold and bronze medalist so we can analyze that which age group people get most of the gold medals the silver medals and the bronze medals the overall age average is also mentioned here same here for the distribution of age with respect to sport now this is only for the gold medalist and here we are not only looking for the age but also we are looking for each sport so like for fencing for shooting here every color has a different attribute or a different sport and even we hover over this we can also see the sports name and we can see that which in which sport which age group people have received the maximum gold medals so here in rhythmic gym we can see the people between the age group 15 to 20 has received the most gold medals and the same is applied for the other sports group also also here we can see a height versus weight graph and in this blue represents no medal here golden color represents gold green color represents bronze and red color represents silver medal and here we have also distinguished the male and the female ones so we can clearly identify that which height which weight people have received which kind of medals or what is their sex like whether it is a female whether he is a male or she is a female so we can select the sport here suppose badminton and now we get a different graph so this graph represents that now cross is for female so we can see here the population of female candidates is more female athletes is more so from this we can have an overall tally of which sex people receive which kind of medal in which height or weight next is the women versus men participation over the years and here we can see the blue line which represents the male participation and the orange line which represents the female participation over years and it gives us a clear idea of their participation in the Olympic Games. This visual representation not only gives us a clear idea but also allows us to mix and match various groups, various attributes and find out different graphs that can visually represent the data more clearly. We can get this Olympics data on internet in tabular forms but we don't get this data in this format like in graphs in heat maps etc so when we get the data in a tabular form we are we tend to mostly not read the data so often and we tend to ignore it or sometimes we tend to look for the top few columns and then we ignore the rest so this kind of distribution or this kind of Data analysis helps us to understand the data more properly. It also helps us to understand the content more properly and analyze and visualize the content more properly. This project has further scope, like we can do various combinations of attributes and perform more analysis on the data. This project is uploaded 
on github and you can also get the data set link over there the app.py helper.py and preprocessor.py files are also uploaded there from wherein you can look for the code and do changes and also perform more analysis i hope i have been able to explain you my project well thank you